In this video, let's look into the PHP code injection. So as we see here, we have a platform wherein whatever the message that has been given by the user is shown back to the user. So looking at the backend PHP code of this document, so we basically see here an eval function. So whatever the request that has been give, uh, given by the user is shown back to the user. So to substantiate this, let's see if this is vulnerable and henceforth by giving in uh, even the PHP codes such as let's try it out with PHP info. Yes, this perfectly works here. So we could see here the PHP info and uh, let's try to give in some other uh, parameter there. Uh, let's give in system who am I. So this would give the information about the user. So let's give something else. So the pwd command would give the value, uh, the details of the present working directory. So let's now try to create a reverse shell. So for that we'll be using the netcat. So first on the attacker machine, let's listen to the port number 1234. And uh, in the URL here, let's try to create a reverse shell to uh, back to our uh, the attacker's machine. So to the port 1234. So once this is done here, let's go back to our terminal. So as we see here, a connection is successfully made. So henceforth, whatever commands we type in here gets executed there onto the victim's machine. So we see here the successful execution of the command. So this is perfectly working. So this is a demo on the PHP code injection.